Hello everyone, I'm Evan Hammonds for BloodHorse.com and welcome to After the Wire. It was quite a weekend of college football Saturday where five of the top 10 teams went down to defeat. Thank goodness for Thoroughbred Racing where form held steady October 4th at Keeneland and at Belmont Park. First at Keeneland, where the buzz wasn't about the new dirt track at the Lexington Oval, but Wise Dan's performance in the Shadwell Turf Mile. Making his second start off colic surgery, Wise Dan broke last and was further back off the early pace, but he was able to save ground in the Shadwell. And as he had in his previous races, his rival Silver Max was left to his own devices early and was able to set a 48-1 opening half mile over the wind-whipped turf course. Top challenger Seek Again was last in the early going and was also on the inside, which would be his undoing as he was stopped cold in the stretch behind Silver Max. Wise Dan, however, need a little, needed a little more real estate than he usually takes with a little wider trip. But once he got going, delivered yet another gem with a final eighth in 11 and 2. Readers of the print edition saw a winner's circle profile in the September 27th edition about breeder Bolane III in his Woodline Farm in Bourbon County. Mentioned was a pretty nice horse that had come off the farm called Carpe Diem, whom he raised for uh, clients Bob and Annette Cummins' coffee pot stables. The Son of Giants Causeway sold earlier this year for $1.6 million and looked like he was worth every penny in the Claiborne Breeders' Futurity. Sitting off the pace like a pro under John Velasquez, he eased to the front on the turn in early stretch. When the other two-year-olds were tiring, he was just getting started. With a final five sixteenths of a mile in about 31 seconds, he drew clear by six and a quarter lengths. Now the winner of the 2010 Breeders' Futurity, you ask? Well, that was Carpe Diem's older half-brother, the coffee pot bred J.P.'s Thunder, a son of Thunder Gulch. Plans are for trainer Todd Pletcher to ship Carpe Diem back to New York, where he'll be prepared to face American Pharaoh in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile at Santa Anita Park. Now, Carpe Diem isn't the only two-year-old colt by Pletcher who hit one out of the park on Saturday. In the slop in New York, Let's Go Stables' Daredevil made it look easy against five foes in the Grade 1 Champagne Stakes. The only threat came from the New York-bred Upstart, who finished two and a half lengths back in second after a one-turn mile in 136 and three. Jockey Javier Castellano said the colt was just galloping along. Now for the record, Pletcher has won four of the last fine runnings of the Champagne. Daredevil, a son of More Than Ready, who was also trained by Pletcher, is a half-brother to Albertus Maximus, winner of the second ever Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile, so the middle distance seems to be right in his wheelhouse. Come back to the house at bloodhorse.com soon for another edition of After the Wire.